Eva, uh, we know that a lot of uh, pretty unfortunate events have unfolded in the last few days in Ukraine and uh, in that region. And um, Estonia is no stranger to Russian aggression. So I'm wondering if you would give us a sense of uh, what the mood is like in Estonia and uh, in the larger region, to your knowledge, based on the events of the last day or so, which is basically an invasion of Ukraine by Russia. Yeah, I, and and I'm happy you you indeed you use uh, the word invasion. What uh, some of the statesmen are quite um, cautious still to use, uh, but. But it is true that tensions, of course, are high, and and it is it is a crisis what what have rolled on already for for quite a long time, and um, and we we are pretty worried here. But uh, but I mean that we should still like make the distinction that uh, if we speak about the Baltic region and if we speak about the uh, na- uh, NATO members as Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Poland are. We are not really worried about like imminent uh, military threat to 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 these countries, but the security situation in in the whole region is aggravating. It is getting worse, and it means that our security situation here is also getting worse. That's that's the same for us as it is for Finland and and for Sweden, who are not uh, NATO members, but who also make corrections in their uh, security threat assessments and and just act accordingly, as as we do. So, we say you're worried. Would you give us a sense of what it is specifically that you're worried about? Is it the further incursion into Ukraine? Or is it what it means for your country and other countries after Ukraine, or something else totally different? Uh, yes, absolutely. I I mean that actually when we when we are speaking quite a, a lot about uh, Putin's try and aim to rebuild uh, the security architecture in in Europe, then we shouldn't really use a word that he wants to do it because in practical terms, de facto, this architecture is already ruined and we just stand on these ruins. And it is, it really depends on our wisdom and determinedness that what kind of security architecture will be built now. But we can't say that the, it is business as usual anymore. It is not. It is, it, it is a time where borders in Europe has been changed by military force several times, if we already start from, uh, from 2008. And, and so it has started maybe quite slowly, but, but it is what is in reality what is happening. And we should rather face it than to make make kind of theater or, or puppet theater that, that we still can go on with uh, business as usual. How does Estonia view the activity that the West has taken, uh, the, the sanctions, um, the, the, the limited military movements that the West and especially the US has taken um, to stop this invasion? Is it enough? Um, it 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 um, well we we shouldn't really um, we should take into account that uh, Putin is really obsessed with Ukraine, and it is something that uh, I think that has been a bit underestimated in in threat assessments. We we should take into account that. It has not been like uh, empty threats from Putin's side, but what he said that Ukraine is part of Russia, that he really means it. And it is the starting point where we should start our strategic thinking, that we should we should just take it seriously. I think that, that America has made pretty good efforts at the moment to try to to solve uh, the the whole 
bunch of problems what is what is emerging and what's going on right now and i really i um, i do not see much what he what the us has left undone i think that they really really have taken the lesson of of trump time they have been very involving they have been very active and and they they indeed their messages has been strong so i think that nato today is is very united what is of course going very much on on putin's nerves and and very much really uh upsetting him and so i, I think that in this case the the cards have not uh, been played in a wrong way um it is simply that uh, if it is not enough then it is not like the us fought but it is simply that that the other player has more ambitions